Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here continuing to cook up this NBA action, man. Y'all know we do here on the Jam Session. We cook up every single game, every single day. Yesterday, 2-2 two and two officially on the Jam Session, 1-2 and two on the premium side. What we did do, though, was cash another NBA player of the day, Houston. We have a problem. Shout out to the Houston Rockets, man. They were our NBA Player of the Day yesterday. 9-2-1, last 11 on that NBA Player of the Day. 33-18-3, last 55 on that NBA Player of the Day, man. Just trying to keep the momentum rolling forward. And I absolutely love tonight's NBA Player of the Day, man. You guys can scoop that play up over at Pick Dogs Premium. Money making Sunday, man. We got a decent card in the NBA tonight. Nine games. Y'all know the drill, man. We're going to cook it up and try to smash it per usual. We got NFL action today as well, so it is a beautiful money-making Sunday, man. Let's smash it per usual. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch my videos. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And, of course, I have premium plays over at the site. Hey, best thing to do, in my opinion, is to hop on something long-term, get every single play that I release, every single sport, for the duration of the package that you scoop up. If you're a bigger better out there and you love betting the NBA and you can handle the volume of betting the NBA pretty big nightly, join my All Access Club, man. The information for that is in the description below. Hey, the guys that have been in the All Access Club for two months, them boys is up huge, huge, man. So if you're a big better out there and you can handle the volume, the information is in the description below. Text the number, and we'll figure out if the package is for you. Let's make some money tonight, man. Let's keep the momentum rolling forward. Without further ado, let's hop right to tonight's NBA action. All right, let's do it, man. First game up, we got the San Antonio Spurs out on the road facing the Cleveland Cavs. Um, Cavs, home favorites, laying 10 and a half at the grip. We just saw Cleveland blow the doors off another bad team in Washington in back-to-back -back games. Um, this is going to be their fourth home game in their last five games. In all honesty, I think they blow the doors off of the Spurs as well. I know the injury report for Cleveland looks bad. I'm here to tell you it's looked bad for the past couple weeks, and Cleveland has hooped even with that, uh, even throughout it. Um, San Antonio, this is going to be their fourth road game in their last six games. Um, you know, they've been a hide out there, but I don't want to trust them in this spot, not with how well Cleveland is playing. Cleveland has showed us at home they will blow out teams their head and shoulders better than and I kind of expect to see that tonight I think Cleveland rolls San Antonio so short sweet simple I'm gonna lay it there in our first game of the day with the Cleveland Cavs next game up we got the Portland Trail Blazers out on the road facing the Brooklyn Nets um, the Blazers injury report is pretty long as well this is not a sexy spot for them this is gonna be their fourth straight road game they got blown out in back-to-back -back games um, in Dallas they also got blown out by Phoenix so they've lost three straight road games, all by uh, double digits, 139-103, 126-97, 109-88. Um, we just saw Brooklyn come home and get right against Oklahoma City, beat up on them boys, 124-115. We had them that day. We had to fade our Thunder Buddies. We had the Brooklyn Nets. It was our play of the day that day. And in all honesty, I think they, now that they're finally back home, I think they keep the momentum rolling forward. The Nets, in my opinion, are head and shoulders the better team in this game. Um, I don't like the injury report for Portland. I don't like the road trip that they're on, and I don't like the way they're playing currently. So I think it's another spot where the Nets are able to stack another win and try to start getting some positive momentum um, heading in their direction. Short, sweet, simple. Give me Brooklyn laying the pretty sizable number at the crib. Brooklyn has been a really good home cover team this season. I'm not worried about them laying that many points. Next game up. We got the Atlanta Hawks favorite over the Orlando Magic in this one. Hey, I'm on the Magic here. They're giving me the better team. The Magic are the straight up the better team. Uh, the better money-making team, the Orlando Magic, as you can see, are the much better money-making team, one of the best in the NBA. The Atlanta Hawks are one of the worst. At home, in a revenge spot, as a dog. Stop it. I'm all over the magic in this one. Um, we will continue to fade the Atlanta Hawks, the worst ATS team in the NBA. Um, it don't even make sense in my mind how they're favored here on the road. Yes, they did beat Orlando earlier this season in the one lone meeting that they had um, this year. Um, and that game was in 
Orlando. Final score in that game was 120-119. Again, I think the Magic are the better team. They've been the better money-making team. They're in a revenge spot because they lost their last game to Atlanta in Orlando. Um, yeah, short, sweet, simple. I'm all over uh, the Magic. They are coming home from a pretty significant road trip. I did like what I saw from them in their last game, though, as they went to Denver and beat them boys. You don't see Denver lose in Denver very often. They did lose to the Magic the other day. I think the Magic come in here at home, lock in defensively, and uh, kind of take the uh, Hawks out of their game. Hawks favored on the road over the Magic don't even make sense. It don't even make sense. The Magic are the better team. They've been the better money-making team in a revenge spot at the crib. Sign me up. I'm taking the Magic in that one. Next game up, we got the New Orleans Pelicans out on the road facing the Sacramento Kings. One of my least favorite games tonight Reason being, I mainly like to bet New Orleans when they're at home. Um, the Magic, I mean, not the Magic, the Kings, they're, they've are they been one of the toughest teams for me to figure out thus far this season. When I look at these two teams, though, the Pelicans have won all three meetings this season. 129-93, 117-112, and 127-117. Um, the first two were in New Orleans. The last one was in Sacramento. Triple revenge spot at the crib for the Kings does seem um, kind of appealing. It does. It's going to be their fourth straight road game as well, but I'm not going to do it. I'm taking the Pelicans. I think they sweep them. I do. I just can't figure out the Kings, bro. When I bet the Kings, they lose. And when I bet against them, they cover. So, hey. Again, one of my least favorite games tonight. Both teams are playing well. Kings have won four of their last five. The Pelicans have won four of their last five. The Pelicans coming off a pretty significant homestand, though. Um, and they did get their doors blown off in their last game. But they have owned the Kings thus far this season. If they're going to give me three and a half in my back pocket, I'm going to take it. Um, in all honesty, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Pelicans went in here and won that game outright. Next game up, man, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves, a.k.a. the House of Disappointment, out on the road facing my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks, man. Mavs home dogs getting two and a half at the crib. This is another game I'm probably going to leave alone and not bet. Um, if I were to bet it, I hate to say this, but I actually do lean towards Minnesota here. The Minnesota Timberwolves kind of just have my Mavs number. Um, and I see my guy Derek Lively, our rookie, Game time decision, and that is a terrible spot. Um, we struggle against Minnesota so much because they're big down low. And the Mavs, what's our biggest problem? Our bigs. So it's just a complete mismatch. Um, can Luka carry us and Kyrie carry us to a win if they get high offensively? Of course. Most definitely they can, especially at home. But wouldn't be surprised if Carl Anthony Towns and Gobert had another nice game against my Mavs and won this game. I'm not rushing to the window to bet this game. Nine times out of ten, I'm not going to bet this game. But if I were to, I would lean in a small lean. I can't believe I'm even saying this to the house of disappointment on the road facing my favorite team, the Dallas Mavs, man. It, it hurt to say that. It hurt to say it. But we, we're here to make money. That's what we're here to do. Or at least I'm here to try to help you guys make money. I'm not betting that game. But if I were to. It probably would be the Timberwolves. They smacked us up twice this season. Next game up, man, we got the worst team in the NBA out on the, world, out on the road facing the defending champs. Um, Nuggets are laying 16 and a half at the crib. Say it with me now. The Denver Chicken Nuggets go stupid, dummy, crazy at home. I know they lost outright um, their last home game to the Orlando Magic. Happens. They're not going to win every single game. But... What I can count on is Denver after a home loss, that next game to come in locked in, laser focused, and I think they're going to take the Detroit Pistons behind the woodshed tonight. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I see this as one of the best teams in the league going up against one of the worst in a bounce back motivation spot in the spot where Denver typically plays its best basketball. They should win this game by 20 plus. They should win this game by 20 plus. Not overcomplicating it, man. Detroit has been playing well recently. And to see Denver lose in Denver was kind of discouraging. But not overcomplicating it, man. I'm not. The worst team in the NBA going up against the defending champs at home in a bounce back spot. Nuggets should blow these boys out by 20 plus. Short, sweet, simple. Give me the chicken nuggets. I'm laying the points with them at the crib. 
Next game up, we got the Memphis Grizzlies out on the road facing the Phoenix Suns. It's another tough game. These are two of the worst ATS teams in the league. Um, two teams that if you've been betting, you've been burning money trying to bet on these two teams. Grizzlies, y'all guys know, I really don't like trying to bet these boys on the road. We did have them on the road in their last game against the Lake Show. The reason we had them in that game on the road was playoff revenge. Um, we thought them boys would come in locked and loaded and try to win that game. Here's the thing. It's Suns or nothing for me here in this game. They're comfortable at home. They've been at home. I don't like betting the Grizzlies on the road. I highly doubt the Grizzlies put together back-to-back -to -back road games. They're just not Grizzlies basketball. Suns have low-key been playing well in this homestand. I just see this as another game where they stack another home win. Am I rushing to lay four and a half? No, I'm not. They're 13-21-1 against the number. They're terrible. One of the worst ATS teams in the league. But I do think the Suns win the game, so maybe like a Suns money line and some parlays for my parlay guys out there. Um, but... Yeah, I'm not looking to bet Memphis on the road. Suns, comfortable at home, been at home. They should stack another home win. Small lean towards Phoenix here in that one. Next game up, we got the Golden State Warriors laying two and a half points at the crib on the Toronto Raptors. Warriors are in a similar spot that the Suns are. Man, the Warriors, I feel like they've been at home for the last two months. This is going to be their ninth home game in their last ten games for the Golden State Warriors. And I think they got one more coming up, so... It's a bad spot for the Raptors, who have been on the road quite a bit recently. I believe this is their fifth road game in their last six games. Golden State, comfortable at the crib. Golden State should win this game. These are two teams who we know what's up with them. Toronto, where do they typically play their best basketball? At home, at the crib, in Toronto, where they have an entire country behind them. Um, on the road is typically where we look to fade the Raptors. Golden State, hey, last year they were a money-making machine at home. They're comfortable at home. The Warriors can't continue to lose games. They cannot continue to lose games, bro, especially if they want to compete in the West. They have to at least win their home games, man. This is a must-win game, in my opinion, for the Golden State Warriors. I'm going to take them here, lay the two and a half at the crib. Probably flip the switch and the light skin, man, gets busy tonight. We'll see. Next game up, we have the Los Angeles Clippers out on the road facing the Lake Show. Last and final game of the night, man. Everybody knows I fade the Clippers nightly. Um, the Clippers own the Lakers. They own them. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but they do. They just don't lose to the Lakers. It, they got. They ha kind of have that little brother syndrome where they just hoop every time they see the Lakers. We're the smaller market in the same city, so we can show y'all. Um, so the Clippers typically come out here and beat the Lakers. With that being said, I'm taking the Lakers. <laughs> I'm not telling you guys to take the Lakers. I'm telling you I'm personally taking the Lakers. And no, it's not on the premium side today. And yes, the Clippers are playing the much better basketball right now. And yes, they always kick the crap out of the Lakers. And yes, the Lakers are free-falling right now. But bounce back at the crib and taking the Lakers. I have no... Real reason, um, like, I just got a gut feeling LeBron, AD, lock in the night and get a win. Um, so if you believe me, rock with me. If you don't, fade me. Take the Clippers. They're rolling right now. But me personally, I'm fading them at least one more time. Give me the Lake Show here on our last and final game of the night. And that's going to conclude this episode of my NBA Jam Session. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for your guy. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, man, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long, man. There's a link for that in the description below. And, of course, I have premium plays over at the site, including my NBA Player of the Day, 9-2-1, last 11, 34-18-3, last 55. Hey, just trying to keep the momentum rolling forward on that play, man. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. Hop on something long-term. Let me help you make some money over an extended period of time. If you're a bigger better out there, join my All Access Club. The guys that have been in there, hey, they're enjoying some extremely great profits, man. Let's continue to kick the crap out of the NBA. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. See y'all soon. I'm out of here.